just thought I'd make this quick video here to show you a quick and easy way to tap the holes in the end of your extrusions. Um, a lot of times we need to do this to uh, butt connect our printer frames together or uh, to attach things to the end of our extrusions. And this may be easier than what you may realize. So to do this, of course, you need your extrusions. And these are uh, LDO's uh, 20 series extrusions. So these are actually 2040 and, or 2020. And these are uh, T-slot extrusions. They're not a V-slot. So the ends of the holes are an M5 tap. Whereas if it was a their V slot, you would need an M6. Uh, so you'll need your extrusion, of course, and then you also need a tap. And uh, what I'm using here is a two flute, a two flute uh, M5 tap. Uh, you also need some lubrication. Uh, because of lack of proper location, I'm going to use some WD-40. Uh, but ideally, I would use Tap Magic Aluminum, which is a really good uh, tapping oil. And it also, in my opinion, smells amazing. Um, and then I'm using, I'm going to be tapping with this, uh, with this drill. Uh, it does have a uh, chuck on it. Or I'm sorry, a clutch. A nice clutch that will... You know, slip if the um, if the tap binds. This is not really necessary to have the clutch because of the way I'm going to put the uh, tap into the drill. So um, when you tap, I mean when you put this into the drill, you're not going to actually locate on the corners. This is for your actual tap handle when you're tapping by hand. Uh, but if I put it here. Um, it's not going first uh, the taps going to be sticking out longer and uh, on a tap handle normally there's some play so um, but in this case there is there will be no play um, and the shorter I tap it up the stronger the taps going to be uh, if you don't know taps are um, it's extremely hard and so they don't wear as much but they're also makes them extremely brittle so uh, you need to be extremely careful when tapping your holes uh, because if your tap breaks in your hole uh, you're going to have a very hard time getting it out and you'll probably destroy the hole and, or at least uh, if you can get it out. So I recommend to be as careful as possible. If you never tapped anything before it might be a good idea to uh, hand tap the first couple holes just to get a feeling of how it works because what happens is when you tap it's going to form a, a chip and if that chip gets stuck into the teeth uh, then it's going to want to bind up so the idea is when that happens you reverse uh, your action so instead of going in you go out which breaks that chip um, so but uh, this tap this style of tap with two flutes is actually uh, really good at breaking chips so I can probably uh, when I do it I'm probably not going to go in and out because as you go in and out and you're going forward and back on this it gives the opportunity to bend or the the um, your drill and which could cause your tap to break so um, if I feel any binding I will re reverse to break the tap but if not I'm going to just go all the way in so I'm going to load this into the chuck all the way in and uh, I have it tight but I'm, like I said I'm on the round part and not actually on the, uh, the end of the tap. So now I'm going to uh, apply some uh, lubrication to the tap, just that WD-40. Um, and then I'm going to hold the tap perpendicular. Uh, to the hole as perpendicular as possible and uh, I forgot to mention you're gonna as for speed you're gonna want it on the lowest speed possible uh, on your drill so I have it set on one and then I'm just gonna go in as slow as I can and you can see the the chip forming if I don't feel any resistance I'm just gonna keep going 
but it would be a good idea, you know, say uh, once you're halfway in to pull out a little bit to break that chip off. But uh, in this case, it's really not necessary with this tap. So I'm just going to go into the depth that I need to tap which is about right there and I am starting to feel a little bit of resistance see now it's starting to starting to slip so I'm just going to go back and forth until I feel it break loose uh, like I said previously if you want to play it safe and break that chip that's why I had a problem because uh, I went uh, all the way in without breaking the chip uh, but I'm going to start on this next hole and make sure between every hole that you clean your tap off and you apply more lubrication. This way, uh, this time I'll show you how to break that chip. So I'm going to uh, start like before as slow as I can. Make sure the hole is perpendicular. And then when I get to about the uh, size of my uh, actual tapping thread you know maybe uh, the taps probably about halfway in now I'm gonna just back it out a little bit and I just heard the chip break and then uh, bring it back in so now I'm at the depth I needed to go I'm gonna try to put it in reverse and once it's free, and it's just that easy. Hopefully this video has demonstrated that it's really not too difficult to tap the holes in the ends of extrusions. I'll leave a link in the description to the tapping fluid that I would recommend that you use. If you have any questions, just let me know.